a customer in control beats the dealership games. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy. Does being informed really make that much difference? Does a homework guy viewer come out on top? How much chance do you have against these highly trained and polished salespeople? Let's find out. Antonio Suarez has been a subscriber of the Homework Guy channel for years and had watched several of our videos. It wasn't until recently, however, that he needed to sell his truck. It was a nice Ford Raptor, and thankfully, he had a lot of positive equity in it. Well done, Antonio. After visiting a few dealerships, as he called them, he quickly realized he was outgunned. The dealer played numbers games and kept trying to pin him down on monthly payments, something they're all famous for. Needless to say, he walked out of multiple dealerships. It was then that he remembered the Homework Guy channel and sat himself down in front of a computer and put himself through a whole bunch of super high intensity training over the weekend, learning all the leverage tricks from our content. Antonio realized something very shrewd. His trade, the nice Ford Raptor, was ruining every deal these dealers drew up because the finance office kept trying to disappear half of the $18,000 positive equity with their numbers games. So Antonio took the truck to CarMax and sold it to him. He took it off the table. This simplified a lot of things because the dealers couldn't screw him over on his trade anymore. When he went back to the dealer, they were upset because they wanted that trade badly, especially the dealer who had sold him the truck originally. Tough luck for them. They missed out on the trade because they were greedy little pigs who played games. Antonio went back to look at the truck he liked and realized the dealer still had leverage. Something Antonio had learned from us that he had to have in order to win. So Antonio made another shrewd move. He found a similar truck at another dealer. A truck that came with $5,000 in discounts Antonio was not getting on the truck he wanted. He brought the offer to the first dealer, pitting one dealer against the other. Very smart. He put the price of that other truck on the table and let the dealer know they had to match it. Well, they did. He insisted they put the price of the truck on paper. He crossed off all their monthly payment proposals and then initialed it. And he let the salesman know he approved the price, but not the payments, explaining that the payments would be generated when the finance man wrote up the buyer's order. Good move, Antonio. Most people don't even know a buyer's order exists. Well, Antonio watched the fallen faces, realizing that he had beaten them again. But Antonio wasn't done. He had another ace up his sleeve. He got pre-approved for a loan with an outside lender so they couldn't screw him over on interest rates either. Antonio got his new truck. It's right here. No products on his contract. Not even gap insurance. In total, from start to finish. Antonio walked out of this dealership five times. He had to get a rental during the process, but it was so worth it. The salesman told him at the end that he hadn't worked this hard for a car deal in a long time. All in all, Antonio is happy as heck. This was more than just a purchase. It was a learning experience for him. He gives special thanks to Elizabeth and yours truly for equipping him with the tools and knowledge to have a fighting chance. He followed all of the homework guy advice to a T and now has a great purchase, which costs more than the Ford Raptor with better equipment and a monthly payment, almost $300 a month lower. Now, how awesome is that? Congratulations, Antonio. You've made us proud. You are the homework guy car buyer of the week. Remember to share your videos, subscribe for updates, and you can get just as lucky as Antonio on your next car deal. I'm Kevin Hunter. Thanks for listening.